Welcome to the Spiritual Hour, Mad Mix here. Guess what? St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. So I wanted to make something that has some Irish twist to it. Uh, this is a cocktail that is called the Tipperary Cocktail. And uh, it's a pretty old cocktail from the 1910s or 20s maybe. Uh, there is a nice story behind it. Nobody has corroborated the story. But the story goes that during World War I, so I think 1914-ish, 415-ish time frame, uh, there was a very popular song, right? Uh, and that song had the name of this town, Tipperary, or name of the county, which is in Ireland. There's an Irish laborer in England, I guess, who is uh, saying something to the effect of it's a long way to Tipperary. And that was a very popular song. He's uh, he's thinking about the home, but he can't go back yet. So essentially, there is a story that at Hugo Anselin's bar in New York City in 1916-ish time frame, some person walked up and he was whistling or singing that song and said, I want something with Irish whiskey in it. And so Hugo Anselin cooked up this recipe and he called it Tipperary because that song was going on in the head of that uh, of that uh, customer. So it's a variation of the Manhattan, a lot of variations of the Manhattan, classic Manhattan. So original recipe had equal parts of these three ingredients, I'll go over those. But this one is Irish whiskey. I have never had this before, so no clue. But I'm going to use uh, two ounces of, uh, of uh, Tullamore Dew. And so let's do that. The original one called for equal parts, so it could be two, 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 one, 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 whatever. Let's do two ounces. Ooh, nice aroma. Uh, so this is two ounces of the whiskey, Irish whiskey. Um, I'm using uh, Dolan uh, Sweet Vermouth, similar to a Manhattan. Uh, this one, I'm not doing two ounces, uh, uh, unlike the original recipe. We will do half of it, so we'll do one ounce of any kind of sweet vermouth. So there's our one ounce. And the third ingredient, so in the Manhattan, usually there is Angostura bitters. So there are no bitters here. Some people do do a dash of uh, Angostura. I'm not doing it. Uh, but the third key ingredient here is the green chartreuse. And this green chartreuse, I'm running out of this one, um, is I'm gonna use about a half uh, ounce of this one. So two ounces of the whiskey, one ounce of the sweet vermouth, and half ounce of uh, the green chartreuse, which is a nice herbal, extremely potent. Uh, I think there's like 130 odd herbs in this. Uh, and so there's no need for Angostura bitters. I've tried actually with Angostura bitters before. Yeah, it's okay. So let's do that. And then we'll throw this in, a bunch of ice, obviously, to chill the cocktail down. Again, there is no citrus, there is no dairy, so it's all spirits, so no need to shake. We can just do stirring with a lot of ice for a little bit and chill the cocktail down. And uh, it will probably take 10, 12 twirls. We wanna make sure it's nicely chilled uh, so that you know, as you drink and sip the cocktail over the next, I guess, 20 minutes or so, it stays nicely chilled, that it doesn't warm up and starts uh, starts become cooling because of the sweet vermouth. So I think now it's nicely chilled. Let's do that. And I'm going to put this aside. I'm going to get a nice coupe from the fridge to pour that into. And this is a lovely coupe that I must thank Ramnika and Uden who gifted me this set. So thank you so much. So let's pour the cocktail into this glass if I can grab hold of this somehow. And there we go. That's a nice tipperary, no tipping over. And then there is a garnish. So some people use a peel of lemon some use orange I got both but I'm gonna do I'm gonna do orange don't ask me why 
I'm just doing orange. So here we go. So let's just do a peel of that. And I'm hopefully going to get something out of this. Yep. I don't know if you can see it. But I don't need to do any garnish here. I'm just going to express the oils like I just did. And let's do a sip of the tipperary. Happy St. Patrick's Day. Happy St. Patty's. Cheers. Cheers. I am shaking. I don't know why. Oh, this is so good. The green chartreuse, it's there. You can tell it's there. I think the last time I had made it, I had used more of it. And then it overpowers the, the Irish whiskey. But this is really good. It's got the sweetness from the Irish whiskey, from the sweet vermouth, but a nice herbaceous finish with the, with the green chartreuse. Excellent drink, serious drink for St. Patrick's Day. No Guinness for me, no green colored drink. We did use something green, but cheers. Cheers again.